How are y'all? It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Nicest thing about Friday is date night tonight, and I get to sleep in with my sweet wife tomorrow. So if you're here, please sign in, say hello, so that I'll know that you're here, and I can say hi back. It is 10 a.m. Time to get started with our daily devotional. It is Friday. Uh, we're going to be in John chapter 5, verses 22, 23, and 24 this morning. We'll go through that. Showed up in my devotional this morning, and I uh, wanted to share it with you a lot there. A lot more after that, too. Um, we will also do a book recommendation on uh, C.S. Lewis, The Screw Tape Letters, and I'll uh, give you a little information about that. Highly recommend it. <clears throat> Great read. Miss Polly, good morning. Lori King, good morning to you. I'm so glad that you all are here this morning. Lots going on. God is at, at his, he's at foot. He's, he's moving. Things are happening. God is at work and your life, whether you know it or not. Cindy Burton Newby, howdy. Hope you're doing well today. Um, we had a good conversation yesterday. Let's see, who else is going to be here today? I've got five people watching, only three have chimed in. I think we have some ghosts on our hands. Lisa, glad you are here as well. Uh, Shirley Akers, good morning to you. Is Joel with you today? I hope so. Uh, let's see, uh, I think that's everybody that is um, watching at the moment. Let's see, Sheila B., yes, it is. Friday. Now, hey, y'all, remember, we've got an outdoor concert on the roof. If the weather's good, if not, it'll be inside. Either way, we've got hot dogs, potato chips, and drinks for everybody who shows up free of charge, free concert, free food. Um, a love offering will be taken. Uh, Kevin, good morning to you. Long time no talk. <laughs> All right, let's see. We also have, um, uh, let's see. Lori, you need my devotional to start their day off right? Well, it's 10 o'clock. That's why we're here. I hope it's good for you. Uh, Cindy, yes, 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 we did. Okay, um, as I mentioned a moment ago, we are in John chapter 5. Showed up in my devotional this morning. We're going to look at verses 22 through 24. I really want to talk about 25 through 29, but some deep theological stuff, and we'll save that for another day. Hello, Kathy Edwards. Dean Dorothy, good morning to you. I'm so glad you are back with us and not suffering at the beach as you were. <laughs> we are also going to look at C.S. Lewis, The Screw Tape Letters. If you have not read this, I'm sure you've heard about it. Um, great book. Great book. Really will make you think. Um, and I'll start on that. Might as well might as well look at that right now. Okay, so C.S. Lewis, I love everything that he wrote. Um, Screw tape letters is really interesting because um, of what it is. Let me read you this. A masterpiece of satire, this classic has entertained and enlightened readers the world over with its sly and ironic um, portrayal of human life and foibles from the vantage point of screw tape, a highly placed assistant to our father below, at once wildly comic, deadly serious, and strikingly original, C.S. Lewis gives us the correspondence of the worldly wise old devil to his nephew, Wormwood, a novice demon in charge of securing the damnation of an ordinary young man. The screw tape letters is the most engaging account of temptation and triumph over it ever written. Um, it's really cool to read um, how one demon is writing back and forth to his superior demon, getting advice on how to help his assigned human um, find damnation. So I recommend it. Anyway, C.S. Lewis, The Screw Tape Letters. Kevin, good morning to you. I am excited you are here, brother. We are going to look at John chapter 5. It is four minutes after. If we keep on schedule, uh, we will go ahead and start. So, in my daily devotional reading, I'm going through the book of John. Again, I love the book of John. Um, and I'm in, uh, uh, let me read it to you. Verse 22, chapter 5. For not even the Father judges anyone, and this is Jesus speaking, red letter in my Bible, not even the Father judges anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son. Jesus is going to be the judge. 
great white throne judgment, Revelation chapter 20. Um, in order that all may honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Ooh. So if you're dissing on Jesus, you don't want to have anything to do with Jesus, you don't believe Jesus is the Son of God, you are dishonoring the Father. And when you take Jesus' name in vain, it's just like taking, taking God the Father's name in vain. All those faiths, religions, um, atheists, everybody who denies Jesus as the only begotten Son of God, um, who does not believe in him, um, not good, not good at all. Hello, Sue, glad you're here. Uh, tell your sweet husband I said hello. Hello, Herm. All right, um, continuing on verse 24. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who hears my word, Jesus speaking, and believes in him who sent me, believes the Father, has, in, has eternal life and does not come into judgment. All right, so you get born again, you do not go into judgment. Now that judgment uh, may be viewed as the great white throne judgment. It may be viewed as the day of wrath of um, uh, the Lord, which would be the tribulation period, because you get raptured out. You bypass it, or bypass it. Um, continuing on. But he has passed out of death into life. Uh, if you're not born again, you're dead spiritually. Uh, once you believe in Christ and get saved, you pass from death into life. You have eternal life. God has put his Holy Spirit in you. So, just to recap a little bit here. Verse 22, Jesus is the judge at the great white throne judgment. Verse 23, if you dishonor the Son, you dishonor the Father. Very bad thing to do. Verse 24, if you believe, you are believing unto eternal life. Um, the difference between knowing that Jesus is the Son of God and believing Jesus is the Son of God is about 12 inches difference, okay? It's not just head knowledge, it's heart knowledge. So, believe unto eternal life, and that, therefore you miss judgment, and you pass from death into life. All right, well, uh, verses 25 through 29 talk about uh, those who are already in the grave, and um, Jesus going to them, them hearing him, um, it kind of ties in with the cross-reference from 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 18 through 20, and 4, verse 6. Anyway, maybe we'll do that another day. Um, love this little passage here because Jesus is talking about how God has put all things into his hands for judgment. So, if you encounter people, and you will, um, who believe in God, but they just don't believe in Jesus, and Jesus was just a man, um, you might point them to that scripture and read it to them. John chapter 5, verses 22 through 24. Uh, Jesus will be their judge someday. But if you get saved, you pass from judgment into eternal life. All righty. If you have not um, found a church home, we would encourage you to join us here at Community Church. We have a nine, our last outdoor 9 a.m. rooftop service to, uh, this Sunday. And uh, we will have an 11 o'clock indoor service. We have a special guest musician. And uh, he's also going to be playing for a Saturday night, a rooftop concert, weather permitting. If not, we'll be inside. Uh, Greg McDougall, award-winning uh, guitarist, singer, and songwriter. And I hope that you'll join us. So let's close with a word of prayer. Father, I thank you so much for everybody who is uh, online watching live right now, and especially for all of those who will watch later. Lord, I pray that they will share this with uh, people that they know and love who need to hear this message. I pray, Lord, that you will bless each and every one of them. Keep us all safe to your glory, that we might come together as your church and worship you in spirit and in truth. In Jesus' precious and holy name and all God's people said, amen. Take care. Bye-bye.